This is the voice, this is the voice, this is the voice of Radio Free Naruda. <coughs> Spin on in for the win, get your Zen bargain bin. Everything at rock bottom pricing. Zenderama! Nothing spared. Zenderama! Deep discount. Zenderama! Bulk lots available. Zenderama! Spin on in for the win. Get your Zen bargain bin. Zenderama! 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 Zenderama. Celiac, Mac is Jack, smack what's whack, snack on crafts, maggots, and cheese. Beat the wheat with real meat, it's complete. Eat some crafts, maggots, and cheese. Prep a breeze, all appease, please by crafts, maggots, and cheese. This is getting to be a habit. <sighs> Damn. Dead so long, there isn't even gore. This is Ivory. Adjunct Kofpox, so there has been an alarming increase in gamp suicides. This is an outrage. A criminal counter-revolutionary waste. Jawohl. It shall cease immediately. Jawohl. Sergeant, tell suicide hotline new recruits are double rationed. We want them rostered and suited for bomber squad. Jawohl. Adjunct Supervisor Cowpox from a death camp, Funnies and Wetlands Remediation, has asked me to do a bit for the latest death camp Funnies. 
and specifically he wanted me to do a bit. He said, do anything about your days on a crisis line. Um, I actually did work for years in Southern California on a on a crisis line. Uh, it was my full-time job. I got paid for it. That's how fucked up things were there in the mid-90s was I was the guy you got in California very often if you were feeling depressed and needed a reason to live. And, uh, you know, morbid bastard that he is, he, he said, tell them what you would do if, if you couldn't think of anything to say and they, you could, you, you know, you were hearing the gun cock and all that stuff. And, um, there was actually something I would do. There would be situations where, um, you know, I mean, usually, this is what you get on a crisis line, you, you talk to them and they'll just keep asking you questions. Like, they go, and how does that make you feel? And, oh, that's interesting. Uh, uh, can you tell me some more about that? Blah, blah, blah. And they, they keep you talking until you basically talk yourself down. But uh, sometimes you get the real hard cases that, that won't uh, do that. And uh, I remember one time... Um, I had a, um, a a woman, and she was rattling the pills. She goes, I've, I've got a bunch of Vicodin and sleeping pills here, and I'm going to take them all, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. And, uh, and I could tell, you know, I was hearing them spill on the counter. It sounded like a counter. So, you know, I mean, I knew this was for real, and she was going to start popping them. And uh, I really uh, wanted to talk her out of those pills for my own use. Uh, that's another story. Um, so, you know, I'm thinking, well, what can I do to get this woman's attention? And so suddenly I just go into calm mode, okay? And I, I don't try to talk too loud or dominate the conversation too much. I just start talking with no embellishment, just very factually, about my last, my latest relationship, and how it got to be to the point where it was at that time. And if I had time, I would go into the relationship before that, but usually even before that could happen, um, the woman would set down the pills, or the man would set down the gun, and, and, and they'd be consoling me. They'd be going, oh man, I, I didn't know life could be so, so fucked up. Um, I, I, how does that make you feel? You know, uh, it was very brave of you to tell me that, Mr. Counselor. And so that was my big secret for, for getting out of, um, uh, not having to run a trace on a call. Just, tell the bastards about my latest relationship. Um, Cowpox uh, or adjunct, adjunct supervisor Cowpox, as I like to call him, is one real twisted motherfucker. He also wanted me to do an apology video to all the people that I'd lost during my tenure on a crisis line and uh, um, and apologize to them and I was actually going to do it for him until I realized YouTube still has time constraints um, I think it's the, the ma maximum video is like 12 hours even if it's longer just to get through the S's alone would be about 42 hours so there's no way I, I could read off every name and then have him repost it on there. And uh, so, you know, I mean, I, I, I'll just take this opportunity to say, hey, you know, I, I, sorry guys, you know, I probably had to go home early that night.
Wow. Now where's them kosher pork chops? <coughs> well, what the hell? Cockroaches. Hey, Bubba, come look. Oh, Lord, sweet Jesus, there goes a round worm now. Look at that thing run for its life. It ain't run. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh, snatch at it. Oh, man. Oh, like it was a big, juicy salami. Sweet Jesus. It ain't run. It's nasty. Just sort of digging in after it. Man, just like it was a Canadian bacon. Imagine that. Hey, uh, bacon the size of your forearm. All oh, jellied and pulsing. That's nasty. Damn. These creatures ain't proud. Hey, uh, Chug at it. Chug at it. They're in there. That ain't right. Holy moly. It's nasty. That food's raw, but it ain't vegan. It ain't right. Mm, mm, mm. That tough enough for you? It'll plow through a mile of your shit just to eat the worms. Ain't mine. Yummy. Smells like home cooking. It's so nasty. Talk about a pig in a blanket, a toad in the hole. We'll have some round worms and kitten shit. I want that. Nasty. Damn, Mama Nature. You're beautiful, but you're a bitch. Got me hankering for some Kazumazu. Proceeding was brought to you by the makers at Golematic. Bright Lies for Dark Truths.